Yo, I am the I am hyphen X, man. Having a sidebar conversation today, man. Want to talk to our people, man. Let's talk to people. How y'all doing today? So, the sidebar conversation today is can a relationship with two people be successful if those two people have two different religious beliefs? Chime in, talk to me. So, for, okay, let me talk about me. Because I, I, I've seen this be successful and I've seen it not be successful, you know? So, if you're really kind of looking at it, hey, share this live. Share this live. What's going on, bro? Like, <clears throat> I don't know how to tag myself to the video. <laughs> But, like, if you really kind of look like look at it, like, for me, I don't, it's hard when you're looking at religion, because in a religion, a religion tells you that one party is right versus one party is wrong. And how can you live and love somebody that your belief tells you that they're wrong? You know what I'm saying? Oh, there you go. So chime in, man. Like, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think uh, a relationship can be successful if uh, two, if the two people in a relationship have two different religions? All right, what you need, sup? That supposed to be yuck. Let me see the Y and the S on the keyboard. I don't know. Because once with that religion, okay, so Christianity kind of teaches you that you have to be a Christian and able to enter the, well, at least have a better chance into entering the gates of heaven, right? So what if you were a Muslim at that point? Like, what if you were a Muslim at that point? Do you just live your life with this Muslim and not try to convert them? Because it's not Christianity all about converting, uh, converting the lost into the saved. I don't know. I live this. Let's see. I have family who have done it for years, but I don't live in their house. Right. So they're Muslim and Christian. Okay. So like, are they hardcore Muslims and hardcore Christians? Or are they just like a, a person that goes to a mosque or a person that goes to a church? I don't know. That's kind of rough because, okay, so we can say, okay, so there's a difference between spirituality and religion, right? Hardcore Muslim. So a hardcore Muslim is with a, is the Muslim a man? Is the Muslim the man? And his wife is a Christian? Okay, that's different. He must have converted. He must have. He must. Like he must have. He must have converted. He must have converted over. Like he had. He had to like convert over. Cause I don't really. I don't see that happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, but okay. I have seen it. Let me say that. I have seen it where a person was an atheist and a person was a Christian. And the person was a Christian and they tried to have a relationship. I have seen that. And as far as I know, it was successful or, you know, has its normal problems. It wasn't a de it wasn't a deal breaker. You know what I'm saying? So what if you are with someone 
and they have a different type of uh, awakening or whatnot, and that awakening then moves them from the religion um, that you both were already in at the time of you beginning your relationship. Because I was talking earlier, and we were talking about being unevenly yoked. But when you unevenly yoked, that means one is either heavy or one is too light or one is too dark. I mean, not, not, not too dark. One is too light as in weight. One may be too uh, 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 short or tall. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what is really being unevenly yoked? Like, we're going to be doing these little sidebar conversations. We still got our uh, great conversation that's going to be moving over to Flight Radio uh, 105.7 FM on Freeport and also on Live365.com. Uh, we have now gaining access to over 35,000 uh, potential viewers from on Sundays from 1 to 2. So don't forget to check us out there, man. Also, catch us uh, still on Spotify, SoundCloud, and YouTube and here on Facebook. Yeah, but you're probably right. That's probably why, that's probably is the problem. Cause how are how was that going? How was how are they going to get married? Like <laughs> like, are, it, will the Muslim go get married in the in the church or would the church? Do they have children? Do, or would the Christian go get married in the um in the mosque? Like I really wonder like how that works, and that's real. Like. And let's just keep it a thousand because it happens every day. Like, like like Brock said, that happens a lot. It happens every day because most of the churches are filled with women. Most of the churches are filled with women anyway. So their man is not even practicing the religion in which uh, they're practicing already. So let's just talk about, let's, that's just a blanket statement. That's already happened. It's more women in the church than there are men in the church. Maybe that's a problem. I don't know. Well, you said, yes, they have children. So do, how do they raise their children? Do they raise their children Muslim? Do they raise their children Christian? Or do are, are they one of these new age parents that be like, I'm just going to let my child pick their own religion because that was crazy. That, that wasn't happening when I was coming up. You was whatever who in the house was. <laughs> like you was whoever, whatever, whatever was going on in the house, that's what you was. So if you was a, a Baptist, you was a Baptist. If you was a Pentecostal, you was a Pentecostal. If you were a Church of Christ, you were a Church of Christ. It was no none of that funny business. It wasn't mama was this and daddy was that and you know what I'm saying and, and all that. It wasn't all that. It was and okay, so okay, so that makes me question. So okay, so what okay, what's happening is we're looking at a scenario where the man is a Muslim, uh, the woman is a Christian, they have children, they have children together, and now they're mainly raising those children to be Muslim. So it's almost like the wife is sacrificing her children, oh, I'm sorry, not the wife, but they're not married. The Christian baby mama to the Muslim man is sacrificing her children for her relationship because in the Christian belief is that if you're not Christian and you die in that state, you have a, <laughs> you may not get into heaven. It's a strong possibility that you're going to hell. Very strong possibility. That's deep. That's deep. So I guess it's, is Christianity a selfish belief? Is it a, is it a selfish religion or is it a religion where you're supposed to be going out and converting uh, the people, the lost into the saved. Because a lot of that, like, you got to think about it, because, like, the New Testament, that's what Paul was doing. He was out here converting uh, people that weren't Christians into becoming Christians. Well, first he started out persecuting the Christians and killing Christians, and then he had an awakening, and then he started uh, winning souls for Christ, and then he started governing over churches and whatnot. So, Is, if you're not out here trying to save, save the loss, <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, you got to convert. So you got to be out here converting. So if you're not out here trying to convert the lost, then are, are you not being a Christian? Are you not being the true definition of a Christian? Because you got to be out here. And, what, 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 what sound ghetto? <laughs> <laughs> what sounds good over there? Like, I don't know, man. Like, okay, so let, can a Buddhist, could a Buddhist be with a Christian? Like, could, could a Buddhist, could a Buddhist be with a Christian? Could a Buddhist be with a Muslim? Could a Jew and a Christian be together? Because it's always about them little kids. Like, once you have children, what do you raise your children to be? And if if you raise your children to be the opposite or something different than what you are, what is that saying about what you are? Or what you believe? Or is what you believe not what you are? I don't know. I don't know. Because I think, I believe that the Christian church has gotten away from the whole uh, converting people over. I think they just got stuck into the whole uh, come as you are thing. Man, you gotta excuse my glasses. Damn near 20 year relationship here though. Yeah, she probably a Muslim by now. She probably a Muslim, she just ain't told her family. Probably be heartbreaking. <laughs> oh, the Christian baby mama to the Christian. <laughs> Hey man, I'm just saying, man. That's just what it is. We, we know what it is. Man, like share this live for me, man. I appreciate y'all for chiming in, coming on in here, man. This is a sidebar conversation. We'll probably do a couple of these a week, uh, just to kind of you know engage with our audience, man. We're gonna be moving over to uh, Flight Radio, uh, 107, uh, 105.7 FM in Freeport, Illinois, um, on Sundays from one to two. From one to two. Yeah, well, because she probably is. Right, okay, so it does work, but is it, but she, but she got shame. She got some shame to her because her family don't know. So her family don't really know. So I don't know. I don't, it didn't work for me. I, let me just keep it, a, I'll keep it a thousand. It didn't work for me, man. It was. I was with a real Christian man. Like you be a you if you're not if you're not with them, you're against them. This is very simple. If you're not with them, you're against them. Oh, his, her father is a pastor. Uh oh, you know what they say about them PKs? You know what the, why? Okay, let's talk about that. Why do we think PKs be out here busting it open? Why do BKs be? <laughs> Why BKs become so uh, promiscuous? I'm sorry. Let me say it like that. Why do BKs become so promiscuous? Because I'm just for a man or a woman. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I think, man, look, let's just keep it, let's just keep it honest. Let's just keep it honest. I believe that people become promiscuous because that's what's supposed to happen at that time frame in your life. I think that that's what's supposed to happen. I think that's how nature intended things to be. Because even if you look at the nature in the wild and things like that, like that's how it goes down. I think we become irresponsible because we don't teach our children exactly what sex is. Like, what is it deemed for? We kind of like let it happen or I don't know, man. Like, I've talked to my children about sex, but I feel like I need to have a different type of conversation because we're in a different type of era. You know what I'm saying? She said, yes, that's a very disrespectful statement about anybody. <laughs> Preachers, kids, church ladies, et cetera. I, hey, I, look, I don't know. I don't know why people be out here. I don't know. It's, it, it, something happened. It becomes very different. I believe that being, I believe that being, uh, growing up in a church as a child 
it could cause you to become very sheltered. You know what I'm saying? If it's teaching you to like everyone's evil and everything is wrong and what we're doing is right, so we have to protect this, so we can't let other people in and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, have any has has anybody ever been disfellowship from a church before? Like, it's it, some church is not church is not real no more. They're not real. How I, how I used to come up, church is real. Like, you did something wrong, it was a rap. It was a rap, man. You couldn't. You was disfellowship. You was out the game. You was out of here. You know what I'm saying? Until you got it, until you publicly made a statement before the church, you know what I'm saying? That you have sinned and you have already asked God to forgive you and you asked the church to pray for you. You know what I'm saying? Then you can be let back into the fold. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I grew up in a very different time, time frame, man. Like, do we think, I, do we think that the Christian church is just caught up in the message of inclusion like we accept everyone come as you are but they don't promote enough change to change from the circumstance that you're in without using uh money as a measure of success or a measure of a blessing Uh, maybe they got into, away from the prosperity preaching. I think if we listen to how I'm talking, I think you're hearing um, why there's more women than men in church. You know what I'm saying? If you kind of just kind of if we kind of hear my tone or the questioning or uh, the logic in which I'm trying to come from, you will kind of see that. You know what I didn't like? I didn't like when. I felt as if the preacher had more uh, influence on my uh, partner than I did. So I didn't like that. And then if you're, um, say you decide to go to a counseling or something like that, if you if you go to you decide to go to counseling or whatnot, and now in that counseling session, if a, you're in front of a true believer, that counselor is going to tell you, or that pastor that you're in that counseling session with, they're going to tell you that, well, y'all have to be, um, you, you're going to have to be evenly yoked. And that means somebody's uneven. Guys, okay, somebody's chiming, chiming in here. Yes, okay, the question of can two people be in a relationship practicing two different religions? The answer is yes. My husband and I practice two different religions. It's all about the attitude of the people. I accept him and vice versa. Okay, so let me ask, what are those religions? What two religions um, what are the two different religions, if I can ask? Because religions have belief. They all should have some type of core doctrine, some type of core belief that the believers of this religion, they have fundamentally the same foundational belief. So that's why I'm asking, what is the belief? Like, what are the two different um, religions? Because I know from a Christian, it's uh, we're all lost. We have to. Jesus was here to save us. You have to be accepted by Christ. You have to uh, be baptized in a watery grave of baptism for the remission of your sins. Uh, all of that. So I get that point. All right. Oh, I got a. Oh, what's going on, Sledge? So when you see those, when those things, when those things go down and a person is not in that, then you have, if you believe that you're saved by the religion that you practice and your significant other doesn't practice that religion, then you have to assume that they're lost. You have to, you have to. Um, is it okay to practice spirituality 
and the other party to practice religion. I, I, I think I think religion has more has more boundaries to it than spirituality. You know what I'm saying? Because when you say spirituality, your spirituality can lead you to anything. And some of those things that your spirituality leads you to are what your religion has warned you about. Hence, tarot cards, horoscopes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, we've been taught in the religion that all of this is wrong, but your spirituality will lead you this way. It will lead you to understanding minerals and herbs and things like that. You know what I'm saying? So it would, it would take you that route. You know what I'm saying? So is, is it, I think it's, I think it's all about intent. Okay, now, are, are you saying, is that supposed to say atheist? So that's a D right there. So he's an atheist and you're a pagan. What is a, okay, so what is pagan belief? Because in pagan belief, Christianity, in the Christianity realm, pagan relief is just anything outside of Christianity. Are you a pagan in the, in the sense of uh, witchcraft, like the like a person that lives in the woods, you know what I'm saying? Like a Wiccan, something like that. Like I'm, I'm these, I say, excuse me if I sound ignorant, because I am ignorant to uh, what, what, what a pagan is, because outside of Christianity, we are taught that Christianity, anything outside of that, is uh, paganism. So he's an atheist. So he doesn't believe in the con he believes he doesn't believe in the actual God. He believes in the concept of God. Is that is that what that means? Like he believes in the concept of God. Because I know, and that's different. Because I I would have never pegged. See, my 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 rim of understanding is only so much. So. When someone says something out of my uh, rim of understanding, I have to start asking questions. Like, I don't know, I don't know what a pagan is. Like, it's too many, it's so many sectors of Christianity that, you know, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I am the I am hyphen X, man. Uh, this sidebar conversation, man, we'll be doing this every so often just to get in contact and talk to our uh, viewers and our listeners. We're about to move over here to 105.7 FM in Freeport. Uh, also going to be on uh, live365.com. Uh, catch us there. We also have advertising space available, man. We're going to have access to over 35,000 potential viewers on Sundays between 1 and 2. So make sure you guys stop by here after you get some of that good spiritual food or get done seeing somebody uh, go up to the altar again for the 27th time about the same thing. But they trying, y'all. They trying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge. They struggle. Just come talk to us on Sundays uh, from 1 to 2. Uh, we're going to have some great things. So I'm, I was, I'm, I'm kind of stalling because I kind of want to know, what, okay, no, date. Okay, so, okay, no, date is not atheist okay i don't know what that is either so yes so yes uh pagan is like what <laughs> thank you thank you for being so understanding i'm not trying to be uh disrespectful so yes pagan is like witchcraft in the woods etc things of that nature so what is the difference between okay what so what is your husband i don't know what that is at all i don't know what a what that is at all it's d i uh e s T. So I don't know what that is. Detus. Thank you. Detus. Yes, I'm trying to be educated. So tell me more. I want to know more. Tell me more about what is the difference between your two religions. And I didn't think that witchcraft is considered a religion. I thought it was considered anti-religious is that is that not the case make sure you guys are sharing this live for me man make sure to use the hashtag the great conversation podcast and also the hashtag um sidebar conversation and also the hashtag <laughs> and also use the hashtag 
let's talk hyphen X. I don't know. See, this is it's so many different religions in the world. It's so many different religions in the world. I think the problem comes in where you believe that your religion is the right religion and that the other religions are the wrong religions. I think that's where it comes wrong because I believe that most religions have the same core values, but they come in different parables. All right, about to get this link. And I don't know if Rocka is still on here or not. But if somebody can just, uh, when she grab that link, just dissect it because I can't go to the link and be on live. All right. So I don't know, man. This is an interesting conversation to me, man. Like I may be able, I may want to go and explore this a little further at a little uh, later time and date on the great conversation. Because for me, two different religions didn't work because one reli well, one religion was deemed the right religion and that religion was so busy trying to convert and condemn, well, condemn and then convert that it drove away, understand? It, it, it pushes a person away. But I believe that's part of being a true Christian is to go out and try to convert the lost into the same. But I don't think I'm lost. Conflict every day over everything because of the belief system is different. And then you're trying to, I will look at that link later. And then you will try to, uh, when that belief system is different, now your perception of that person changes. And now you may have, now you may start experiencing emotions like sympathy, anger, rage. And then once you disassociate with your emotion, now you become detached because when you are becoming a Christian, they tell you a lot of the times you have to cut off a lot of folks. So now they put you into a isolated stage. It's crazy. I'm going to read this right here. Yes, um, there is always someone who thinks their religion trumps the other. But ultimately, at the end of the day, most worship, most worship the same person, God, just in different ways and call him by different names. I agree with that sentiment. I agree with that statement. But I grew up in a church where you had, where you couldn't just worship, you couldn't just worship God the way you wanted to worship God. You had to worship God the way God wanted you to worship God, the way that God wanted to be worshiped. And if you worship God outside of these parameters, then your worship was in vain. You know, then your, your worship was in vain. Okay, so Mary, okay, man, I'm so confused. Because Mary, Mary, are you saying, you're saying exactly, okay, because she just said that awesomely they're all worshiping the same God. So are you saying that witchcraft is worshiping the same God as Christianity? Because I, I believe, I believe every Christian, I believe every, I believe every Christian would disagree with what you just said, if that's what you're saying. Because the Muslim God is, is like we listen in the Bible, like in Exodus, it says that ye, thou shall have no other gods before me, which is the admittance of other gods, right? So I think it's a, I think it's a safe statement or a safe uh, comment to say that everyone is worshiping the same God because I don't believe that they are. I don't believe everybody worships the same God. I believe that different people believe in different gods. Wow. 
Mary, I'm going to have to have you come on to our, uh, we're, we're looking for another religious panel. And I want you to come on to that panel because that is a powerful statement that you just made. Mary has just claimed that witchcraft worships the same God as a Christian God. My mind is blown. That's a bold statement. And I would love to sit down and have a great conversation with you about it because I'm trying to understand where you're coming from. Many would disagree. By the way, I am an ordained Lutheran deacon as well, and I study the Bible extensively. I can't wait. Because what a lot of it, a lot of, um, before, I think a lot of the times before you go to another religion, you go through one of the major religions. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people that are high ranking in these religions and whatnot, a lot of people that are that, they switch over. <laughs> uh, don't worry, man. We'll have it. We'll, it'll, just be, it'll just be me and you talking back and forth in front of a camera. We won't be live. <laughs> maybe, we'll, maybe just me and you will have a conversation. But let's see. Let's see what Ricky says here. No, not everyone, because there are idols and so forth. That's not what I meant. Okay, so okay, so I think idols are false gods, but I do believe there's other gods. Because okay, so what? What was the? What is, what is the god that eat that that they burn the babies to? Mo Mo Rat, Mo Mar, something like that. Something with an M. It's in the Exodus. Um. And then there was another guy, Bar, B-A-A-R. I believe that's how you say it, Bear or whatever. But that is, those are other gods. And then, like, I guess the idols would be, like, the gold calf or something like that. Because, I don't know, by God just saying that thou shalt have no other gods before me, I think it's straight up. Because even in the beginning, he was talking to some other people that was with him and chilling. You know what I'm saying? So... I'll be happy to have an answer. I will DM you because I have a lot of questions. If you can just start the DM now, if you can just explain to me how witchcraft is worshiping the same God as the Christian God, you can just start, you can type me a paper on that. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And if you guys ever do want to just uh, give something anonymously, uh, feel free to message us at um, our Facebook page. Or you also can um, go ahead and um, email us at great conversation. Let's talk um, at gmail.com. Yeah, she said those are false gods and idols. Okay, so tell, okay, so I, I will have to get you on here because I need to know what's the difference between a false god and an idol. You know what I'm saying? Because are they the false god? Are they the false god because they weren't the the god of Israel, or were they the false god because they weren't the the god of the uh, Israelites? Are they the uh, false god because they're not the god, the Jewish god? You know what I'm saying? Because I know that uh, the Canaanites had a god. Each sector had a different god. Even when I was coming up and I was reading, uh, learning in social studies about the uh, indigenous people of this land and whatnot, and how they had a different type of belief and whatnot. So. And they believed in all these other gods, and the Hindus believe in all these other gods and whatnot. So I, I don't think that everyone worships the same God. Maybe the same principles. Maybe their gods all hold the same principles or characteristics. I don't know. It's different. Cause I think I can I, I could be with someone who was in a who was in not maybe not engulfed in a religion. You know what I'm saying? Like engulfed with it, but someone who is studying it that likes to study religions, like I like to study and find the differences and the similarities in those religions, not necessarily holding one to a higher standard than another, you know, but just to have that understanding would be dope to me. Like, I just be wanting to know, like, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna give y'all a real, a, a real story, a real story about this, okay? So one time, I I used to 
I used to always go to the Shell gas station in this town I used to live in. And when I went into the Shell gas station, I used to go, with, it was 24 hours. And for all y'all that know, like everything ain't always been 20, open 24 hours. So this is kind of new. You know what I'm saying? Like McDonald's just started to get open 24 hours and everything. And Walmart was you know, kicking it up 24 hours. So now the Shell gas station is 24 hours. So I used to have trouble sleeping. And so I get, I get to go to the Shell gas station at 3 o'clock in the morning. So I go get a go get me a sour apple slushy. It's delicious. So I go get this slushy, and I used to go talk to the Hindus in there. So I'm talking to the Hindus and whatnot. We're talking about their guides, how they got over a hundred guys in there, um, in their religion, in order for them to learn them all. They're embedded into all the children's stories and cartoons and uh, uh, soap operas. And, you know what I'm saying? Anything, everything is rotated around their gods, you know? And so I forget the name of the god with the trunk and the eight arms. I forget his name. And so I said, you believe that a man had a trunk of an elephant and eight arms walked the earth, but you don't believe that Jesus Christ walked the earth. He told me, yeah straight face he doesn't he said jesus christ was not a real man and i just looked at him and i said man i wish i had your faith but that's hard for me to believe that a person with a, a elephant trunk nose and eight arms was just walking freely around the earth <sighs> i don't know man so belief in religion is a very strong thing uh, like I said, we're going to be doing these from time to time, man. So, yeah, I know. <laughs> wow, son. <laughs> you said it with a straight face. A straight face. A straight face. And he believed that. He believed that. Well, I ain't going to hold y'all too much longer, man. I am the I am hyphen X sidebar conversation, man. Uh, advertise your business with us. Also, we're bringing back uh, what's going on. What's going on, 815? So if you have uh, any community events, um, any event, uh, workshop, anything like that that's free to the public, uh, go ahead, email us at greatconversationletstalk at gmail.com, or you can message us here on the Facebook, or if you know me personally, go ahead and drop it there too. But drop, our, drop the flyer. Go ahead and drop, drop a flyer and also um, the contact information for that, and we'll get that out for you. Because we want to uh, empower our community, not cripple it at, by any cost. And if you have a small business, a service, or a product, go ahead and uh, give us a call. We have some great uh, sponsorship packages that are available. Uh, we have access to over uh, 35,000 potential listeners on Sundays, one to two, uh, on 360, on, live 365.com and also flight radio 105.7 fm in freeport illinois so you guys can catch us there and also we're on spotify soundcloud youtube facebook uh we're coming over to instagram now uh we're also gonna i'm gonna try to get into that twitter thing you know what i'm saying <laughs> so we're gonna go to the, we're, we're tackling all areas here man we're just trying to move up and we're trying to take take our viewing audience with us okay so I am the I am hyphen X, man. And always remember, you don't always have to agree to have a great conversation. Peace.